Let's talk about six, baby. Let's talk Let's about, about you and me. Let's, Let's talk, talk about all, all the good, good times, and all the bad, the bad times. times. Divac Origi. Yeah, <laughs> You're good. Get it? Because it's the Divac Origi Liverpool Champion Squad Builder episode. And what's happening, boys? And welcome to one of the more requested episodes on the channel. You guys have been asking for it. The 86 Champions League hero. I don't even know what this is called. Well, it's the Champions League man of the match for winning the final. Now, this episode gives me a little bit of an opportunity to discuss what I thought about the Champions League final. Not one of the greatest finals we've ever seen, but uh, the squad... I suppose that was destined to win, or the one that put in the best performance was the one that ended up... Was the one that ended up lifting the trophy. Emotional scenes, I mean, like, everything from Henderson hugging his dad to all these other things that happened. We'll talk about it throughout the epi. But the reason we are gathered here today is because of this 86 Divock Origi. Uh, we asked for better rated cards. So you remember when Lucas Mora got that uh, hero card or the man of the match card for uh, the Spurs upset over Ajax? Um, he got like a slight boost. It wasn't a big, uh, it wasn't a big boost by any means, but this Divac Origi card actually goes up by quite a nice little margin. If we compare him to his second, uh, his second highest rated card, it is an 81 rated card and it goes up with a pretty significant, nice little boost. He goes from 82 pace to 88. He goes from 80 shooting to 88, uh, goes from 70 passing to 75. Pretty much every stat card category gets either a plus four or plus five upgrade, a very, very nice upgrade. And dare I say it, a guy that might just be usable in division rivals, maybe division three, division four, uh, or possibly weekend league. If you're just trying to get a good start, in the lower elo ranks but uh as we can see here we got the 92 attacking positioning this is pre uh this is pre marksman boost 89 finishing 93 shot power 82 long shots 82 volleys but the thing that stands out on this card is the 94 heading accuracy the 83 jumping and then also he's got that 86 strength which we're going to boost that's going to go all the way up to 91 with that marksman like i said now the dribbling stats it's going to be interesting to see how that plays because it doesn't they're not the best dribbling stats in the world um 89 sprint speed is okay, 86 acceleration is okay, and then the passing stats leave a little bit to be desired, so that 82 short passing, we're going to have to hopefully be able to rely on that. Really what we're going to hope for is for the other guys to pick up the slack, and then whatever aerial ability that we're trying to use, uh, it is going to be compensated for with some of these stats that we have with Divok Orgy. If you guys are excited, or Orgy, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, if you guys are excited that this epi is finally here, a lot of you guys, mostly Liverpool supporters, by the way, I'm not a bandwagon supporter, I joked on Twitter saying that uh, Jurgen Klopp is turning me into a red... I am turning red in this epi because I have a hundred degree fever. Um, but uh, Bateson gave me this kit in 2013, and just I just I just love Jurgen Klopp. I love some of the players on Liverpool. I always joke that if I had to pick a team in the Premier League to officially join, it would be a Liverpool. So uh, I am doing this in honor of you, bros, that are out there that love Jurgen Klopp and then love Liverpool as well. Interesting little stat I saw: 2012-2013, Bayern Munich lost in the Champions League final the previous season. Then they signed Jerdan Shakiri. What happened the next season? They win the trophy. 2018-2019, Liverpool lost the Champions League final, the one where uh, Salah had his arm ripped off uh, in the final in the previous season. They signed Shakiri and they win the trophy. Big Shakiri really is a lucky charm. Saw that on Twitter. I thought that was pretty cool. But Boom. we've got ourselves a Liverpool squad. Now, is it the best Liverpool squad that you can put together in FIFA? Not by any means. I mean, we've got some stars like 93 Roberto Firmino. We've got <coughs> Alisson, who we've wanted to have, find an excuse to use. Uh, we've got the Tesco Trent Alexander-Arnold and the mid-Tesco uh, Andrew Robertson, we've got that untradeable Van Dijk who we've had for a while, bought Fabinho, have this ultimate scream, uh, Zerdan Shakiri. Wijnaldum is a big boy card for sure. He goes for 430,000 coins, so we invested quite heavily in him. We've got Boring James Milner, who is juiced up with the plus 10 attribute. Of course we had to. It was between him and Hendo, but uh, James Mildriga, as you know, has an emotional spot on this channel. Uh, we're going to get into a couple matches. We're going to see how the squad plays. I want to see if this Divock Origi card or, or Origi card is usable. Um, a lot of people are saying that it's still not, but it is a massive upgrade from his 81 rated card. He's got the four star skill move, so we're going to see what he's got. And really, this gives me an opportunity to kind of go through what I think about the final. Now, I, I think Liverpool caught Spurs on a good day. It wasn't the best game that Liverpool has ever played. Let's just put that out there. I think even Liverpool's will agree. It's not the best It's not the best performance we've ever seen from a Liverpool side. But it's probably one of the more disappointing performances we've ever seen from a Spurs side on a big stage. Now, there's going to be jokes, bottle jobs, whatever, what have you, right? But um, 
there were chances. Erickson had a chance where he completely whiffed, where nine times out of ten he's probably putting that on target. That's a real, That was a really good opportunity from just outside the box. Hyungman Son was scary. Virgil van Dijk uh, did a really good job containing him, but but Hyungman Son was scary at moments. There were at least two or three opportunities where he had where he was going to be able to do something, but for whatever for one reason or the other, it just didn't work out. And then more importantly, though, that Lucas Mora uh, uh, that Lucas Mora situation where he had that chance. It was just a really good save from Allison Becker, and then there was also another set piece where Allison Becker came up with a really, really clutch save. Um, Harry Kane? Let's go! Come on! In honor of Harry Kane, we're going to be using the Tesco sound effect for the, uh, for the duration of this epi. Oh, let's, let's go, go, boys! His keeper doesn't even move. I think the keeper assumed that his VVD or whoever the hell that was Hey, going for the close-up. No, what are we doing, dude? Yo. Oof, yo. That pass from Divock. That pass from Divock, and then the send into Bobby Firmino. You know what's very impressive, though? The Alpine Messi. Zerdan Shakiri. The Zeld. Oh, let's go, Divock. Divock Origi! Come on! Let's, let's go! go! Come, Come on! on! Big man! Yo, that strength. That strength coming into effect. You saw that? First thoughts on Divock Origami. Uh, obviously, two shots on target, two goals. Clinical, clinical inside the box. Feels like a guy much higher rated, a little bit more spry than I expected, right? Because we expected that agility to be somewhat of an issue, but um, agility not seeming to be an issue with this card whatsoever. <laughs> Referee, let's go! Of course we gotta, get to, we gotta give it to Divok. 82 pens, so he's not a great pen taker. We're gonna fake left and we're gonna go we're gonna go left. Let's go! Let's go! Clean as you do it. Clean as you like. 3-0. The absolute mad lad. Champions League mad lad. Now, again, um By the way, you know that Liverpool fan that was missing? Um they, they, oh god, I forget who what his name was, but apparently he got arrested. People were looking for this guy for two days. He was in he was in uh he was in Spanish prison. Why not? wants to get involved in the action as well. 71st minute. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with the numbers, right? By the way, guys, if you're watching this video, it's probably going to be Wednesday. And I think I might be on my way to Los Angeles for EA Play to meet up with Bateson where we're going to, I don't know, we're going to do some weird stuff. <laughs> I think for breakfast one morning, I'm going to crack his head open and make a delicious egg omelet. You get me? This is, this never happened. Hey, but Divac Orgy, you know what? As of right now, two thumbs up. Two massive thumbs up and one of my toes. RIP my next opponent, dude. On. Go on, Divock! Bro, this guy's actually crazy. For 80k? Bro, he's one of the... Dare I say it? He's one of the better budget... Look at the moves, man. 8 shots, 7 on target. A perfect 10 rating for Divock Origi. Dribbles completed 22 out of 30. A very nice little dribbling completion ratio. You guys know that we love that particular stat. 22 out of, 20 out of 22 passes completed. 3 out of 4 shots on target and 3 goals. A very, very clinical match from the main man himself, Divock Origi. Let's get in the second match. Let's see if we can get James Meldriguez going. I gotta say, Allison was actually pretty decent. I can't believe I'm admitting that. It took him to get a 95 rated card for me to say something positive about his goalkeeper card in FIFA 19. But it is what it is. What was this? It was really good job. Alright, his old black has come to play. Bro, what did my Zerdan Shakiri do to that guy? He <laughs> Bro, Zerdan Shakiri, take a bow, son. I swear, every time we play PK, dude, he does he, he turns up. Nah, I can't play Mally Sun for that. It's not his fault. That was mine. Sh I shouldn't have pulled the keeper. Felt like that's the only choice I had there. Too many players just watching in the It was fabulous again with his delivery. Messi. Brilliant. Messi. Magic. Messi. 
Murphy. He's pulled down. Please tell me that was James Milner without the attribute boost. I don't even have the attribute boost on James Milner. He was able to bury. He was able to bury that in. What does he? Uh, Milner's regular card has 70 long shots, and he managed to blast that in, dude. That's you know what this. I feel like this Epi was faded. This was a uh, this was a thing of uh, this was a thing of destiny right there. Four star week for three star skill moves. I feel like Milner deserves the four star skills. And there's the finish. Again, the ball's not attacked. Too many players just watching in the It was fabulous again with his delivery. Messi, brilliant. Messi, back kick. Messi. Oh! He's down. Um, the says I mean, it's Messi, right? Can we can we take can we take points away from from Ali Sen for conceding versus Messi? Yo, Hamas, Hamas Mildriguez has, has a hidden stat. He doesn't even have an attribute boost on him. And he's doing some yang things right now. PK! Let's, let's go! go! He's on the pitch! Come on! Two red cards. Jared PK, I'll see you, see you later, bro. You look horrible as a model for the new Barca kit. Is he getting out of here? M4 Gix. Is, is this guy... Ma oh, Magix. Never mind. <laughs> M4 Gix. Come on, dork. Oh, Wijnaldum. Why didn't I just shoot that? Probably should have slowed up. Uh, I'm just, I'm making errors. Oh God! Come on, era penal, era penal, pendejo. Let's go, boys. Woo! Okay, come on. Composure, 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 composure. We're giving it, we're giving it to Divock. We're gonna give it to Divock. We're gonna switch. And we're gonna go right up the middle. No, we're gonna go left. I, I just don't know what I have to do to get a goal. I don't know what I have to do to get a goal in the second match. So I guess we did the Champions League. We did the Champions League legs in reverse. So we won the first. We won the first one, which was like the comeback. And I thought we were gonna have a comeback here once that once that PK went off. Um, and then this guy just absolutely obliterates me. Zero goals. At least we got an assist. Who got the goal for us? James Milner with an assist from Divock Origi. So uh, four goal contributions in two matches played with Divock, and we just got absolutely smashed by a guy with ten. Players again. I uh, magics. I can't really explain how this happened. Eleven shots, eight on target. We had chances. Our guys just weren't able to put it through. His all black was literally a brick wall. And my Allison, I can't really blame him. He conceded goals to Messi and Suarez. So I mean, what else am I gonna say? It's almost as if it was faded. Barcelona. Um, the whole the whole storyline looks like it was written for this epi. Um, but Divock Origi's card for eighty seven thousand coins. I'm gonna have to give it an experimental thumbs up. If you guys want to try an interesting little card out, nothing really about his card stands out as oh my god. But the main thing is the stats that you do get for an eighty five rated uh, as for for an eighty five thousand coin card. Um, are up there with some SPCs that have gone for about 150, 200,000 coins. So I would definitely recommend trying your hand out with this card, especially if you're a Liverpool supporter. I'm sure you probably already have this card in the squad, uh, in the club. 85,000 coins, again, super, super cheap for his card. And again, like I said, you get some really, really nice stats with that. But that is going to do it for the Liverpool Champions of Europe episode. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit me up with some ideas for some videos you guys would like to see in the comment section below. Uh, we're going to be doing an episode on that stock not what's his name Strav the Danish record breaker I believe the youngest player to ever score the most goals in the Danish in the Danish league I think it is I think we're gonna team him up with the use of Paulson and see if we can link him up with a couple other Danish players so that'll be very uh, that'll be an emotional epi that'll be either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow's epi again guys like I said hopefully you have enjoyed this Liverpool champions of Europe squad builder episode I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day